It's their main defense mechanism. Nonetheless, they're not afraid of a predator that they don't see. They're not afraid that something might hunt them in the future. Animals are only afraid of sounds, of smells, of shadows that they notice are moving around them. Any animal that isn't constantly on the alert in the natural world meets the Grim Reaper very soon. Attacking a scorpion can be deadly, so it's essential that any animal that wants to munch on this crunchy but very well-armored arthropod have a certain degree of fear lodged in its mind. A scorpion brandishes a whip-like tail that it can lash very fast. But the reptile distinguishes the nerve points where it has to bite the scorpion in order to disarm its defenses. This scorpion could kill a large monkey, so the risk and difficulty for the little iguana must be even greater. Nonetheless, the small saurian has the situation under control. Its intellect and its reflexes act in concert to avoid the poisonous stings of its prey's tail. Maybe the scorpion needs to strike the iguana with its stinger right between its scales in order for the poison to be effective. And most of the scorpion's attacks hit the scales without piercing them. In any case, it's clear that the hunter needs to be very careful so as not to get stung. The most extraordinary thing is that when a prey behaves contrary to what its predator expects, that is, it advances toward its attacker in a threatening way, it breaks the chain of stimuli and can neutralize the predator's urge to hunt and perhaps save its neck. But the lizard dared to attack the scorpion even when it was at its most dangerous. And as soon as it prey turns its back on it again, the iguana tries once more. This time, the iguana has inflicted considerable damage on the scorpion decisively impairing its ability to coordinate its movements. The prey is badly wounded, close to death. The lizard's instincts now tell it to wait until the scorpion stops moving altogether, to wait until it dies before wolfing it down. Its brain is able to distinguish between when to attack and when to withdraw, between when to wait without fear and when to advance to devour its prey. Undoubtedly, a reptile's brain also recognizes when what it has hunted is no longer a threat, and it can move on to the next stage. Eating. If the scorpion could still defend itself with its stinger, in this stance it would have too good a chance of striking the iguana in the eye or stinging it inside its mouth. But this isn't something that the iguana has deduced. It's something instinctive, an instinct that the iguana has acquired through natural selection after many, many years of dead little iguanas.